Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. Today is the day two, and today we will be talking about one of our favorite drinks, which is coffee. <sighs> Not only are we going to be talking about coffee, but we're going to list a few new flavors that have come out or are coming out soon for the winter. Although a lot of people like McSweeney and I drink coffee all year round, right. we wanted to talk about some holiday drinks that both of us and you guys should be really excited for. That's right. It's not all about pumpkin, but uh, more about that after news. In news this morning, Jonathan Almonte was arrested Saturday afternoon after leaving an apartment building with a machete and a whip. He had allegedly threatened a neighbor with his machete at an apartment building on East Genesee Street. Police were able to evacuate all the victims convince Almonte to walk out of the building. Not only did Almonte refuse to drop his weapon, the police were unsuccessful in convincing him with an electroshock weapon. Almonte was eventually taken to the Onondaga County Jail Center and charged with third degree criminal possession of weapon, second degree menacing, fourth degree criminal mischief, attempted aggravating assault on a police officer, and second degree resisting arrest and harassment. In other news, Moderna, a Cambridge, Massachusetts-based company, announced yesterday the coronavirus vaccine has a stunning 94.5% success rate against the coronavirus, making it the second in the U.S. to have a high success rate. Vaccinations using this medicine begin in the second half of December, said Dr. Fauci. Because of the current limited amounts of medicine, the first to receive it will be healthcare workers, the elderly, and people with underlying medical conditions. Bansell, a spokesperson for Moderna, stated in an interview with CNBC, knowing that we have a vaccine for people who would take it is just a wonderful feeling. As you know, a lot of people have been reluctant in surveys to take a vaccine because I think we're worried about the politicization of a vaccine. They're worried about what you get with a flu shot, you know, 50 to 60% efficiency. efficiency. However, with an efficiency rate, 95%, that's a game changer, I believe, he said. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So many great choices out there right now. First, we're going to be talking about uh, Dunkin'. Now, not only does uh, Dunkin' have some new drinks, but uh, food as well, actually. Yep, and this year they have a limited edition merchandise, including clothes, aprons, and blankets. Now, since they came out with their drinks on November 4th, a lot of people have really enjoyed these drinks. Um, the first one is the Peppermint Mocha Latte, which is a peppermint mocha flavor topped with whipped cream mocha drizzle, and hot chocolate powder. Uh, my kids will absolutely love that one. Uh, the second one is the chai oat milk latte. This includes a sweet chai tea blend with a mix of cinnamon, cardamom, nutmeg, and it's a non-dairy uh, since it has oat milk, so if you're lactose intolerant, that's great. Yep, I'm lactose intolerant, so I might try that. Um, so far, those sound great. We'll talk about the last two. Move on to Starbucks after the weather. Today on Monday we will have snow and rain, so it's not going to be a good day to go outside, plus it's going to be a little cold. But we will have a high of 46 degrees and a low of 31 degrees, so like I said before, not too good to go outside. Tuesday we'll have another chance of snow and a high of 38 and a low of 25. Wednesday will be sunny and cloudy with, with wind and a high of 33 and a low of 26. Thursday and Friday will warm up with highs of 50 and 57 degrees and lows of 44 and 41 degrees. Saturday will have a high of 48 and a low of 41. And Sunday will have showers with a high of 54 and a low of 41. And I'm Grayson with your weather.
All right, so the last two sound just as yummy as sweet as McSweeney said in the first two. One of them is the gingerbread latte with gingerbread oh. flavor topped with whipped cream, caramel drizzle, and cinnamon sugar to add some extra sweetness. So and good. the last item Duncan has brought out this season is the sourdough breakfast sandwich. It has extra cherry wood smoked bacon, two fried eggs, and Wisconsin white cheddar on their new sourdough toast. Uh, I think my favorite is definitely going to be the gingerbread one. It is so, so good. That sounds good. Oh, yeah. yeah. I feel like I would be willing to try the chai oat milk latte. Like I said before, I'm yeah. lactose intolerant. Mm -hmm. Plus, I love oat milk. It just tastes so good. All right, so now moving on to one of my favorite places, personally, Starbucks. Starbucks came out with their drinks November 6th and claim they may come out soon with more drinks. They have come out with a peppermint mocha as well. It's similar to the ingredients from Dunkin'. Um, they also have toasted white chocolate mocha mm -hmm. with caramelized white mocha sauce and sprinkles. Another drink which I personally like is the caramel brulee latte with caramel sauce and caramel brulee toppings. Oh, that sounds so good. Because I, I love the caramel macchiato. I um, love that. I that's always my get favorite there. So drink. That one, so that one definitely sounds good. But two more drinks they have are the um, chestnut praline latte that has caramelized chestnuts and spiced praline crumbs. And then the last drink is an eggnog latte. Uh, it's their standard, which is the only Starbucks drink last that does not come with whipped cream. Um, it's got rich steamed eggnog with a signature espresso topped off with a dusting of ground nutmeg. Yeah, so. it sounds very, very good. I want to try it so bad. We will list their holiday food after sports with Aiden. Okay. The Arizona Cardinals beat the Buffalo Bills in a very close game, 32-30. to The Cardinals were down 30-26 to with 11 seconds left when the quarterback, Kyler Murray, chucked up a pass and star wide receiver, DeAndre Hopkins, caught the ball for the game-winning touchdown. He was covered by three defenders and he finished the game with 127 receiving yards. And the Steelers improved to 9-0 for the first time in the franchise history with the 36 and 10 win over the Bengals. Syracuse men basketball coach Jim Beheim has tested positive for COVID-19. As of right now, Beheim, who is 76, is asymptomatic and started his quarantine as soon as he found out. Syracuse has announced that they will be pausing men's basketball activities and expect to open its season against Bryant on November 27th. Dustin Johnson won the Masters with a record score of negative 20 under par. I'm Aiden with your sports. All right, so now on to some uh, yummy food uh, Starbucks has brought out. They have uh, come out with the two cranberry treats, including their cranberry orange scone, uh, drizzled with vanilla icing, and cranberry bliss, which I love, um, bar with cream cheese icing. Yep, and there is a sugar plum cheese danish with cream cheese filling. Huh. There is also a snowman cookie and cake pop, which both have rich buttery and chocolatey icing. I had their cake pop, and it's, it's so good. Yeah. Now, I know that this was just a lot of information uh, we put on you guys, but uh, we hope that you'll be one of, go to one of those places, try something new, check it out for the holiday season, especially with those cold weathers that uh, we were just talking about earlier. Yep, and eventually I will try to try some for you guys and hopefully you can join me by like sending videos or something so we can continue this on another show all right so uh from abby and i and everyone here at the morning show you have a great day